Okay guys, this is going to be an unboxing video and an installation video. So I'm going to just mix them all into one. I really don't like just doing an installation video by itself. So we're going to do this all at the same time. Uh, this is for the Blackview um, dash cam. This is a, um, uh, what model did I get? Crap. Oh, it's a DR750X 2 channel. So it has front and rear cameras front and rear cameras um, I had my car window busted out the other day uh, the dash camera I have first of all doesn't work in I didn't hardwire it in so it doesn't have park mode um, and it came from the side uh, uh, it's weird because they didn't actually bust it uh, you know it wasn't a break-in or anything they, someone just hit it with something uh, um, so anyway, uh, this will I'll hardwire this in, and it should be fine. Um, at least uh, you know. I mean, the only way I won't catch anything is if it, if they come in from the side and leave from the side. But I mean, if they're going front to back, uh, either coming or going, like one of these cameras is going to catch that. And and so hopefully uh, uh, this will work. Uh, this is Wi-Fi. It also has a. I think this has a. D, uh, uh, 4G LTE card too, but uh, did I get the L? I don't remember if I get it's got Wi Fi, yeah, via LTE. So, anyway, so there's the cameras. Got your front one here. Oh, let's get this out. Oh, I didn't really pack that in there. Here we go. That's in right there. Here's your front one. Got a little protector there. Over here you have your cover where you can put your, this is where your um, your card goes in right there. And I already have one. It comes with a 32 gig, but I actually bought a 128 gig. So I'm gonna go ahead, since I got it out, might as well just install it. that maybe get in there okay so there's that and I cover this back up like that got your this is for the where the cable goes for your rear connection uh, power button USB this is for downloading your pictures and, and videos and whatnot and the Wi-Fi for um, you know, setting it up for your I actually have Wi-Fi in my car, so that'll work. And this one here, to get this, this is actually mounts up here like this. And then, um, let's see. Yeah, does it turn? Yeah, it'll turn. Yeah, see? So that this will turn wherever. So it turns like that. Um, to pull it, get it out, you'll, once it's installed, to get it off this, this ring, you'll push this little lock button right here this and then the camera comes out like that and let's take a look at so once you get this off I'm gonna leave all this on until I go to do the install so I'm gonna leave all this on to protect it while while I do the installation and then, and then put it all back in just snaps back into place all right then you got yeah that, rear camera there's your power button. Not much to this. There doesn't need to be. Um, it turns. Uh, mine will. Mine will almost be. That's funny because mine will almost be like this. Um, I'm gonna leave the again. I'm gonna leave everything on there until I get ready to install it to protect it. What else is in here? Oops, there's something that got your starter guide. Tells you how to do everything. Underneath here. Alright, set that aside. Open it up. Okay. Here you got your cigarette lighter power cord. I'm probably going to use this one just because of where the battery is in my car. Um, you got your trim panel lever here so that you can pry pry those up just enough. You don't have to take panels off, you can just pry those out. 
just enough to get the cables inside. Uh, you got a little uh, SD card reader right there. That's really weird. Um, uh, clips for your cables. Uh, that's mainly for uh, running along your window. Um, or if you don't want to pry up your, your panels, you can use them for those too. There's your 32 gig Blackview card, which I'm not going to use. I'll just go ahead and take that out now because I'm not using that one. All right. Uh, more adhesive in case you ruin those or you need to remove them or for whatever reason to put them back. Uh, here you got your rear power cord. Right here, rear power cord. This is your hardwire kit. I'm not going to use this one for now. At least not right away. Eventually I might actually use this one. Uh, let's leave all that inside there. That's your hardwire kit. For now I'm going to use this cigarette lighter one. Just for now. Until I come up with a plan for the other one. And that's it guys. That's it for this one. Um, and stay tuned for the installation uh, I will try and get some really good video I know I've watched a lot of them and I had some ideas that I would do better so uh, right now it's raining uh, I will wait until it's done and maybe dry it off a little bit all right I'll talk to you later bye okay guys uh, for me uh, well most cars you'll have a few uh the batteries in the engine compartment like right in here right it might be on the other side too um and the fuse block is inside the passenger compartment um for my dodge durango the fuse block is in the engine box is in the engine block uh a box so uh engine compartment there's my fuse uh, like yeah no i'm not gonna that would mean I have to plug it in here and run wires. You know, yeah, yeah, I don't even know how I would get that through the firewall. Um, but that's not really an option for me. So uh, I got a better solution here. Uh, that will work, at least temporarily, for a little bit. Um, and then back here, uh, the battery is actually located underneath the passenger seat down here in this box here i don't want to pull that out but that's where it's that's where it's located at um i'll do that eventually uh eventually i do want to hardwire that and i'll probably connect it right to the battery right there um that's for another video though so for now what i'm going to do is uh, this actually works very well because I have a power outlet in the glove box. Let me slide all this back. Okay, so I actually have a power outlet right here that I'm currently using. Um, it runs my other dash cam, my current dash cam. Uh, so I'll probably, front one will go up there. There's no sensors in this, so yeah, probably right up in here somewhere. And, uh, the wires will come up underneath the panel here, over down here, up in here, and then it'll go right down along the, the weather stripping here, up here, weather stripping. Go around the cross beam here. All right, that's the wire for, uh, right, and then one wire will go actually run down that. And then the power for the oh the airbags in there. Uh, so be careful with this because that is an airbag. So be very careful. Don't pry on the panel. Just the weather stripping here. So the the camera, the power cord for the rear camera will actually run up through here. And the weather stripping. And go all the way back through there and then attach back there somehow. Um I'll figure that out when I get back there, but that's how it's going to go. And then, uh, so it has to run down there, underneath the seat. Let's see. Yeah, so it's, I wonder if there might be enough that I can run it back over this way and have it come up through. So we'll have to wait and see. I'll have to see how much cable we have. Run it all the way through here, or back up here. 
and then around and it'll come down here and then come up over there for that side so we'll wait and see if i have enough cable to do that if not it'll have to just go right underneath the seat right through here directly over there and into the plug all right so i'll see you in a little bit okay guys uh went ahead and mounted the rear camera um pretty straightforward stuff uh i did clean the glass with rubbing alcohol uh really good and stuck this on there i held it for about 10 seconds and you know it's gonna go right there um the cable when you do this the cable are marked the 90 degree one is actually marked with an f i don't know if you guys can how good you can see that f and the straight one is an r so you know that they're you know front and rear so the just remember that the one on the rear goes the rear camera is straight and the one that goes on the front camera to power it is the 90 degree angle all right so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to run that cable over a little bit right through this to this gap right over here and then roof liner or right in there through that gap it's going to go all the way over to the front all the way to the front that's what's going to happen that's the plan anyway all right i'll see you in a little bit Good, you're going to be able to see this. Um, so I'm going to take this. This is the one that has the R on it, the straight one, right? Plug that in here. And that it clicks, makes a nice little clicking sound. Um, this is the tricky part here. You need enough. That's why the door is open here. Uh, you need enough cable so that it'll do that without, you know. You can get it up there. Okay, there's that. And this one here. Sorry, I'll try to get this in here as much as possible. Try not to get get in the way there. Alright, so oh I'm just gonna pull this down. I don't want to break it though. Pull this down so I can get it up under there. There we go. That's better. All right. That's over here. Give it a little. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to give that a little bit of slack there. All right. And we can do this. All the way up front. Okay, I'm going to move this around a little bit. I have to get up here. Reposition the camera. Where am I going to put this now? Alright, uh, yeah, I figured it started to rain again. Oops. Started to rain. So, uh, well, at least it's all inside work now. All right, so I don't even need to pry in on anything to get this off. This is all right. And there, this is where the problem is right there. I'm gonna keep pulling on that wire, and it's gonna keep coming out. All right. Just be careful. Don't pull on that wire because you just bend over here. So feed the wire through up to there. Okay. Okay, that's good for that one.
probably gonna end up stopping here in a minute because it's rain. All this just goes underneath this weather stripping here. if we can untangle this a little bit <laughs> right I should have done that first way to go Dave they give you a lot of cable that's good no I mean this will fit this will work for any car now remember this panel here there's an airbag in there so you, you need to be careful with this one you don't want to do anything to damage that. Alright, since I'm done back there, I'm gonna let me put my cover back. Okay, there. Alright guys. Move this around. Alright, here we go. Back around that way. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to do this one now. Hmm. Be careful with the airbag panel here. Alright, and then here we're going to. That up. That's pretty straightforward there. I mean, right through there. Now, now when we get to the A pillar here, this is because this has to go all the way to the front here. Got all this extra cable and probably gonna all right so i'm probably going to feed some more of that just through the just through the pillar there I'm, yeah see i'm just gonna that's all i'm gonna do right here i'll show you here right here there's a, all this extra cable all i'm gonna do is just feed that all the way down just feed it down there's no reason that that can't all just go get tucked away in there Just like that, all that stuff. Okay, let's see. All right. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm sure some of that can go up in the up there too, on the headliner. So feed it up there there. Just like that. Now it goes into the headliner. So, oh, I'm going to need this for that. Okay, right there like that. a lot of cable still left over okay so basically this stuff will you know they give you enough cable for any vehicle it don't matter how big your vehicle is it's like you have enough cable there um yeah so i'm gonna pull this out because we need to feed some more down in there so just keep going like that's not gonna hurt anything there there's literally nothing in there that's gonna keep you from doing that and you might need, might need to pry that up just a little bit to get some more right down in there.
Jeez, that's a ridiculous amount of cable. <laughs> Holy crap, man. That's insane. Um, I'm actually... I gotta say this. I, it's like, I can't get any more cable down there. Alright. I'm just holding that up. It's just... That's fine. Now the clips. They do have wire clips. The clips would actually go... If you couldn't get under there or you didn't want to, you could actually just put them right up here. So that it would hold the wire. And I actually have... I still have a lot of wire here, so... I'm going to see how much of that I can get up into the headliner, if any. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I actually have a little, there's a panel here on my rear view mirror. I can tuck all the wires down in there too. So that actually worked out really nice. A little spot there for the wires. Cut the cable. Yeah, there's still a lot of cable. Jeez. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing that. choice there all right so I'm just gonna I am gonna wrap this back in there and that's fine that's not gonna hurt anything that little bit there okay just like that and it's gonna sit there just like that okay be back in a minute guys okay guys uh cleaned off of rubbing alcohol um they recommend the lens be the lens be um in the center so not the mount you know make sure you get the lens in there this part right here i still got the cover on there but so basically, if that's going to be in the middle, this has to be off-centered. The mount has to be off-centered, like about there. So you want the lens to line up pretty much where your rear-view mirror is. So that's all right. About there is good. Should be good. Right there. It's out of my view, so it's not blocking anything. Amen. Get this off. The stuff they put on here is ridiculously sticky. Here we go. Okay, so make sure it's all there. The cover's there. All right now, I want them right there. There's the cover. I want this up as high as I can. So right about there. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Now. Plug that into the rear. Right there, like that. Tuck some of that away if we can. Okay, just like that. That's all there. This is what it looks like there. And over here. I don't know, I hope you guys can see that good enough. I know it's hard to see with the everything there. Does that help? That might help a little bit, I guess, huh? Maybe. Alright. So well maybe if I go like this. I don't know. Anyway, so that's everything there. The it's plugged in, the cable's hidden. Now you have to run the power cord which is, hang on, I'll be right back.
All right, guys, I am actually going to use the cable clips and put them on the window. I don't want to, that's really tight up there for some reason. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I put the cord in, plug it in there. Oh, I can run this anyway. <laughs> kind of. Okay, so that can stay there. That's fine. All right, get the clip. When you take this backing off this, these things, uh, including the camera mounts, like that tape is, uh, that tape underneath is something else. Like, so make sure you put it where, where you need to because you're not going to get it back off. Not easily, anyway. All right, so this is going to go right here, like that. Another one. Oh, here, make sure. I used all my alcohol pads, so I'm just going to rub this down real good. Okay. Okay, there. Oh, that's funny. I was just thinking that uh, dash cams aren't for everybody. If you're a bad driver, you probably don't want one. <laughs> right? I mean, seriously, think about it. I mean, this is for trying to protect people that are, you know, more for insurance scams, I would guess. Um, you know, you see a lot of that stuff. You hear about it. Um people you know brake checking everybody you know just to get to get them to rear end you so that uh, they can get the insurance money um never had that happen that's a lot of close calls with some accidents though that were not my fault um crazy the stuff you see um Oh yeah, guys, just basically here, let me get this, let me get you guys a better view here. Hopefully you guys can see this. So this is, it's all going to tuck in under here. And an extra cable can go right in there. All the extra cable. There's way more cable there. Not only that, but you have the center console there too. So it's going to go over there. Let me roll the seat back more. Because I want to be able to get back there as far as I can. Okay. Okay, now move the seat back where it's supposed to be. Okay, hang on, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm on a Blackview app, download the Blackview app on your phone. Uh, I want to allow while I'm using check SD card. Check SD card. Check SD card. Okay, why does it do that? Oh, maybe it wants to. Uh... Restarting. Let's make sure it probably needs to be formatted. That probably was exactly what it is. Let's look. It's restarting. Check SD card. Check SD card. Is it gonna find it? Probably not. Check SD okay, so card. let's let's uh, find out what's going on.
Okay guys, uh, so highly recommended before you get your camera to go to the Blackview website and download their their app or their, their Windows uh, program onto your computer because you're gonna have to format that SD card uh, using their, their program. Um, so that's why it was doing all that. Uh, it should be okay now, I'm just waiting. So now that I've formatted that card, it's checking it now. It should be okay. LT, Wi Fi. Now. Black view for your safe driving. Oh, well, there you go. Starting normal recording. There you go. See, now it's all done. That's cool. Um, we're just. Go into the app here. I want to make sure. I want to connect to the camera. Oh, I need to go to. All right, so I need to go to the Wi-Fi first. All right, so go here. Wi-Fi. There's the camera right there. Oh, what's the password? <laughs> I don't know. Um. Oh, well, let's look at the manual, right? Okay, so let's try this connection. There's got to be a Wi Fi. Here we go. Wi Fi. Yep. Our default. Oh, is that on the? It's on the camera. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, so apparently that's on the camera itself. Let's take a look. Is it? Uh, yeah, like I'm gonna be able to. Alright, so I'm gonna have to disconnect this. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah. Take a picture. Oh, there it is. Password. Yep, sure does. All right, so there's a password. It's on the, uh, it's on the label on the camera here. Um, so yeah, take a picture of that before you go and do our, all this stuff. I'm learning just like you guys are. Hopefully this will help. All right, so now we're gonna start it up again. There's a black view right there. You can ask me for the password, which is. Yeah, no, I'm not going to tell you that. It goes. Photo. Right here. Oop. Come on. F139. connected now so now when I go to the camera settings just connect there it is it's recording everything right there everything that's recorded already that's a pretty cool tool and you go to live view you can see the front uh, oh change it to the rear Ooh, why is that upside down that's not cool okay so the back one's upside down, so I'm going to have to fix that. So let's go do that right now. Alright, be right back. It's up too high. 
All right, guys, so the camera's up, pointed up too high. That's fine. Just fix that. So when you, but when you put your camera on, make sure you mount it so that the power cord is facing on the driver's side. Remember that power cord has to go on the driver's side. Otherwise the camera is going to be upside down. And now Nope, need to go down a little bit more. Okay, now let's see that. Actually, I need to go a little bit further down. Wow. Yes, yeah, I need to go down a little bit further. That's fine. All right, so let's try that again. One more time. Wait, a little bit further down. I'm going to close this up while I have the door open. There we go. Okay. See what it looks like now. There you go. Now you can see it. That's good. Right there. Okay. Uh, so yeah, there you go. It's all done. That was... So I'm probably going to use the car to keep uh, Wi-Fi for this. So let me, uh, let me back out of this. other side to do this. Okay guys so uh, what I'm doing now is uh, there's a firmware update of course you know as everything you know once you get there's always a firmware update so that's what I'm doing now. Uh, Connected that's using the the Blackview uh, app on my iPhone. Uh, you can see that it's downloading now. So once that's done, it'll install it. This is actually pretty cool. I actually like this one. I wonder if it, how good it'll work. Um, it's supposed to have a built-in battery uh, voltage uh, cut off, so we'll see if that works. Because I'm actually going to leave this plugged in overnight and see what happens. complete that's it it's done um connect to cloud internet is unavailable because you're connected oh okay okay so that's going okay i won't i do want to closest cloud is actually over here oh no, you gotta register everything all right I'll do that I'll do that later so all right that's fine Restarting. all right so I gotta take some pictures for the other one Okay guys, I think that's about it. Um, if I come up with anything else or find anything else, I'll definitely let you guys know. Talk to you later. Bye.